Hello and welcome to this very important video that I am making for you where we are going to be going over the number one factor to help determine a very successful, profitable and consistent trader within inside the markets. And that what we're going to be talking about today is confidence. How do we gain confidence? Of course, this falls under the realm of psychology and emotions. For me, the biggest realm within side of the cryptocurrency, well, trading market in general, for how we start to determine a very good and successful trader, okay? It's all under that realm of the emotional psychology and confidence, right? And how we gain this. This very quick video, I wanna be explaining why I took this short position and how this is going to be aiding you in getting right your mindset and psychology, okay? So let's just go straight into it. Of course, uh, earlier I gave an update on my 25,200 short position and how I was looking yesterday very bullishly for plus $25,000. And as soon as we hit my target of 25,200, we had the swing failure pattern and that for me was a short position. From there, we had a 8% drop to the downside. Nice take profits taken and we had a sideways range going on. From here, there was no trade for me. I had to remain patient for lower or higher, okay? In the end, we got higher. And for me, that was that was nice. <laughs> As you can see from my post in the group today, I was still wanting higher earlier today. And why? We had this really nice target at the time of $25,000. And this is live in the time. As soon as it hit, $25,000, bam. I'm posting to my group a short trade entry. The full Trading setup, live in the time, the entry, the target, and the stop loss. Most importantly here, we're focusing on the entry. Why is this such a focus? Well, I'm giving this, you have to remember, to thousands of people that are following my every word, but it's the factors behind this in the chart. So think about this for a second. This rise is very quick to the upside. This was the first short that I had taken all day. We had a daily we had a naked point of control in NPOC, but I did not take either of those shorts. The one and only short that I took was off of this setup that I gave to my whole champions group live in the time. What happened here? Well, you can imagine very quick rise to the upside. So like I said to my group, I really think 99% of the world will be too scared to take this short trade. Myself and CC Paul, <laughs> the champions, are part of the 1% to take this short trade with full confidence, okay? Now we can see how this progresses. Progresses, large drop to the downside, feels good to short the top with you all. For me, that's now a take profit one. This is after over a 4% drop to the downside, okay? Entry, $25,000 up the top here, okay? We then see over 4% drop to the downside, taking out a load of lows, back testing the daily, that for me then is the good time to take profit one. And it's the same scenario as yesterday. The short from 25,200, hit a take profit one. If we had got blasted up to $50,000, doesn't matter, that's a winning trade. And it's just like this trade that we've taken together again today. What happened here? Well, now that is a take profit one hit, right? We wanted to see higher, we got higher, we got the entry, target is of course lower, but we're focused here on that take profit one lock-in percentage, okay? It's a 4% drop to the downside, very nice move, taking profits down here. I mean, we've already bounced from that take profit another 2.2%. So you can see how, how it is possible. It absolutely is possible when you follow the right trading team. <laughs> it's absolutely possible to do this, what I'm showing you right in front of your eyes, timing the exact highs of the move. And again, this is live in the time updates. If you're following along on that call, then you're definitely making profits. And then timing the exact lows with take profits. Timing the high for the entry, timing the low with take profits. Short entry drop, long entry bounce. And it's all about that take profit percentage, locking in those profits, securing those profits, and ending with a very epic day of trading, to say the least, as you can see here. Epic day in the trading group. Absolute legends. You are appreciated. It's worth it. People loving CC Ball. People loving <laughs> what we've got going on right now. It's absolutely special. But again, I've got to bring myself back because I do sometimes get carried away. The focus of this video was explaining the number one important factor, and that is confidence. I can tell you with 100% certainty, if you do not have that, there's no way 
There is just no way you are taking that short position while price is rising like this. If you are analysis paralysis, if you are hesitating, if you are just expecting new highs to be made, whatever your reason, I really truly believe the majority of people are not taking that short trade at $25,000 on the retest. Again, it's all down to confidence in trading on how you lock in that trade when it's given to yourself. Okay. And again, I will remind you the factors. It's all about experience. Okay. This is not something that you can fast track. Although, you know, some fake gurus would love to make you believe that, but you know, honestly, I think experience is absolutely key. Okay. Because it's experience of how you get these data sets and statistics, right? And then once you start to, you know, uh, let me bring this down and, and make it a little bit more professional. So I, I apologize. I do sometimes just get excited and carried away. Uh, it's been a very profitable day. What can I say? But um, yeah. Okay. So experience, that's, that's self-explanatory, right? Okay. Then you've got to be taking the trades, right? First of all, of course, you've got to educate yourself. You really have to understand the ins and outs, why you're taking trades, CCV setups, Fibonacci levels, parallel channels, Fibonacci time, you know, the whole works. You've got to understand that theory fully in your brain. Once you've fully understood the theory, it's time to jump to the charts. That's when you can start demo trading, paper trading, you know, or just very small amounts where you're going to be just practicing. You're going to be taking those trades to run your statistics, journal every single trade that you're taking, journaling an absolute must. If you want to be successful consistently, you've got to journal. It's as simple as that. If you're not journaling your trades, I really don't think you're going to be a successful trader. So journal those trades. From here, you can then start to build statistics based off of your journal, okay, and the data set that you've collected. And then from there, you're going to start taking those trades for real, right? And then this is how you then start to gain the confidence. You've got a data set, you've got your statistics, you then start to win your trades consistently, and then you have full confidence <laughs> even like for myself here, once again, we have thousands of champion members inside the group, right? I've got thousands of eyes on my every single move. So earlier in the day when I'm calling for hire, well, you can imagine people are going to be not taking a short off the daily, not taking a short off the NPOC because we want to see higher. As soon as I post this, well, I think you can probably guess what happens next inside the group. Uh, but yeah, CC Paul walking away with a very happy day indeed. But that is a another level of confidence that's required, right? You've got to be very confident to jump in front of that steam train at the time, right? And take the opposite opposite way back down, okay? Then it's all about locking in take profit. You've got the entry, brilliant. You've got a lower target, brilliant. But you've still got to lock in that take profit. And that's why, once again, with the very, very big move to the downside, again, over a 4% drop, some people at this moment in time are going to be thinking, oh, I'm not going to take profits here. I think it's going to go lower. Or, you know, they're, they're probably not even short and they're just thinking, what's going on here? I have no idea. Um, you know, hopefully you're not in that boat and you understood. But for me, it's at this point where you then have to have also the confidence to lock in and take profit, not to get greedy and think, oh, it's just going to go down lower. Daniel has a lower target. I'm just going to hold to that. No, it's all very important to lock in that take profit one. Why? Because this is a very large drop to the downside locally speaking, right? Yes, it can go lower, but it can also now bounce from here. Why? Because we've taken liquidity, we've actually back-tested a support level. From here, this is a very nice way to lock in a take profit. Again, you could, of course, compound it higher. There's no one, no one ever went broke taking profits. So when it's given, locking those profits at these sensible levels, is again, is a large move. I really believe 4% drop is a, is a very profitable move. If you're trading like myself with millions of dollars, then you can imagine the profits that you're making off of a 4% move. It's crazy, but yeah, for me, it's, you know, the confidence to take the trade, the confidence or non-greediness to lock in that first take profit, secure yourself, secure your profits. And if we pump from here, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you know, you've made profits and that's what we're here for, right? We are here to make profits. We're here to be consistent. Well, I'm here to educate you. <laughs> I've, 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 I've completed my life goals. My life goal now is dedicated to chart champions. I truly want you to understand I truly want you to integrate this into your brain, understand what I'm teaching, and then use it fluidly within the charts yourself, okay? It's all well and good, you know, <laughs> giving a trading setup, it playing up, but I want you at the end of the day to be able to do this yourself, I know. Until you get to that stage, of course, you can follow along my updates, but my aim is to get you to the stage where you are, you know, you have your full confidence and you're not, you know, waiting on me to post 
that's my aim. Um, so yeah, this was a, a quick video, but one that I just felt really compelled to do. Uh, you know, yeah, I felt really compelled. Look at this, it's a very large bounce that we're also getting. So from that take profit, we've already now seen a 2% bounce. So this is the thing, right? Let's just say that we bounce here to $30,000. Well then, but both the 25,200 short from yesterday and the $25,000 short would both end in profits, right? Because they've both hit the take profit one. If we form another swing failure pattern, for example, well then we can look for another trade. If we hit to 30K, we can look for another trade. For me, the importance is getting the entry, getting in that take profit one, and let the market show you what's going to be happening next. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this quick walkthrough. I will just say this, by the way, please don't listen to titles. Please don't listen to thumbnails. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I can edit thumbnails. I can edit titles. But what I cannot do is edit what I say in the video. That's set in stone forever. So it's really important that you just pay attention to what I'm saying. Ignore any sort of emotional or clickbait titles and just focus on what I'm saying. Okay, that's the most important thing that I will always tell you all. Uh, and yeah, if you do that, you will uh, you will start to be a very happy person indeed. So yeah, I'm just going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. You know what to do if you want to see more. Hit that like button, tick the notification bell. And of course, if you want the full package of all of these updates live in the time as they're happening, if you want the live trading streams, if you want the daily live streams, if you want the journal, we also now have, of course, a full journal in the website. So if you want the journal, if you want the education, we've also got the full education on the website. You know, so much content for you all to get stuck into. So if you want all that along as along with, you know, everything on the Discord of the trading updates and all the education, all the journal, all the cheat sheets, everything that you could ever need, <laughs> that you can get that over at chartchampions.com. I'm just going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. I love you all. And uh, yeah, I just want to say that. My big love, my big heart, CC Paul, send their regards. Cheers, everybody, and goodbye.